Amazing video of a black bear in Bradbury tonight. Watch as the bear scurries down a tree and runs into a neighbor's yard. Fish and Game tried to coax him back to his home in the hills, but it was a bit of a wild bear chase as he bounced from property to property. It was going everywhere. The bear's been a major attraction all evening as onlookers watched him hang out high up in a tree. I think it's awesome that it, we have a bear in the neighborhood. I look down the street and I see this bear um, jumping on a trash can and like knocking it over. And then I'm like, mom, mom, pull back, pull back, there's the bear. 12-year-old Maya Mercade spotted the bear and alerted Fish and Game this afternoon. They hit him with a beanbag gun, hoping he'd go home, but the bear kept post on his branch. It's been getting worse and worse over the past few days. Mark Bojani says bears have been wandering into the neighborhood trash cans lately. Earlier today, a mother bear and cub left these paw marks inside a Duarte home. Last week, a resident took this video of a bear in his yard. Bojani fears neighbors are intentionally feeding the animals. I've seen neighbors just throw fried chicken at the bear. Fish and Games Lieutenant Rebecca Hartman says that's a misdemeanor. If that bear gets used to being here and it becomes a city bear that will not leave, that's that's not a safe environment for the bear or for people. Hartman says only residents can save the bear by putting trash away and keeping food in containers. For now, these folks hope this bear finds his way to a different tree high up in the hills. I hope that he comes down safely and that um, they're able to put him back into the wildlife, get him safe.